Hey guys, so I know this video is late and um, well, I mean what else is new with me But actually I watched YouTube Rewind the day it came out You know somebody told me to watch it So I checked it out put it up on my phone and about 20 seconds into the video I just had to completely stop. I had to literally pause the video exit the app. I could not watch anymore Because it was so good I could not spare another second watching on this little screen. I had to go to my living room and watch it on a gigantic screen because it was that good. And of course, I know what everybody's saying about YouTube Rewind, okay? I've seen all the comments talking about how YouTube Rewind is getting worse and worse every year and this is the worst one. I've seen all the YouTuber reviews saying, you know, how why this is so awful and how it's missing so many trends and YouTubers, there's way too much Fortnite. Just all this talk about how it's all around trash. And yes, I know it is the most disliked video in the history of YouTube now. I get all that, okay? But let me just say the only reason that everybody has turned so much of their hate and so much negativity towards this one video is because you guys just don't get it, okay? You don't see how brilliant YouTube Rewind this year was. I mean, YouTube Rewind is supposed to be a recap of the year. Not only does this year's Rewind perfectly capture everything that this year has been, but it summarizes just just everything that, that represents where we are as a society and, and humanity in life all in one video. Think about it. This is the most disliked video in the history of YouTube and yet it got over 100 million views in less than a week. What better way to describe what people are like in 2018 on YouTube than to create a video that is so bad, so disliked, so hated that you can't help but come and check it out and, and by doing that you also get people to complain about it and argue about it and get it to the point that it's so viral that everyone has to see it no matter how much we hate it. That is the perfect representation of the biggest things that happened this year. In 2018, our society loves a good train wreck, okay? We love to be upset, we love to complain about things, we love to start uproars. Whether we want to admit it or not, we love to hate. And YouTube Rewind, what they did, see what they did, those little, little brilliant suckers, they didn't miss a single trend despite what you thought you think you might have saw. But I'm not gonna go through every single reference in this video because there is so much genius content in here that it would take me all day to go through all of it. But just so you guys get a little taste, let's start from the beginning. Yeah. Okay, right, I mean, right off the bat, okay? We're five, six, seven seconds into the video at the very most, okay? And from the very beginning, what YouTube does, okay, there's a man leaning on a railing and he's just looking out into this beautiful, picture-perfect world, just enjoying and appreciating nature. We don't know who it is until he gets a text message, right? And he turns around and boom, Will Smith. Is that not obvious enough what commentary they're making right there? See, this is not some random cameo, okay, that, that YouTube put at the beginning of the video for shock value so that people don't click away because they're expecting so much more now. It is so much more than that. What YouTube is really trying to communicate here is that in 2018, we are so busy with texts and, and technology and idolizing celebrities that it draws us away from actually appreciating life. Just turn around. <laughs> what a way to start a video. Good for you, YouTube. Let's continue. Turns around. Yeah. Uh, come on. Come on! Okay, I can't be the only one that caught this one, right? Are you serious, YouTube? Are you serious? More genius level commentary and another big trend right here. Will Smith gets a text and what is the first thing he says? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, come on guys, this is so obviously referencing the presidential text that everyone got on their phones earlier this year. Remember that day? Which is why the first thing that Will Smith says when he sees his text messages is "Duh," as in Donald Trump. He stopped himself from saying his name. And that's where the brilliance comes in. What YouTube is so cleverly trying to say is that you can't even say the name Donald Trump without starting some kind of argument and that, that just stops the video. You just stop yourself, bite your tongue, and you can keep moving on with the video, aka life. And that's exactly what they did. And what we should do as well. Let's continue. Yeah, it's rewind time. <laughs> Stop it again. Just, oh, wow. But this is just too much good stuff to skip. Did you see that? Did you guys see that? The Will Smith is just straight up telling us that, you know, this beautiful, peaceful world that's behind us, it is, it's the end of it. It's the end. Why? Because when you rewind something, it's usually because it's finished or because it's at the end. And what time is it, Will? It's rewind time. And to make it even more obvious, he goes on to call out Fortnite and Marquez Brownlee. Fortnite and Marquez Brownlee. And if you don't know who Marquez Brownlee is, he's related to technology. And obviously, Fortnite is anything but peaceful. Once again, reassuring you that what they're talking about is how technology is ruining peace. Just to put the nail in the coffin. You see that? 
snaps. Another thing that everybody thought YouTube left out, it's the Thanos meme. He snaps and everything disintegrates and all of a sudden we're in a Fortnite bus. And it's all thanks to Will Smith, AKA the Prince of Bel Air, okay? YouTube tried to get a little cute here, but obviously we caught that one as well. The Prince is calling us to have a battle royale and we're flying through the Bel Air. Good one, YouTube. Okay, we're not that dumb. Is this what you wanted? You know who- Okay, I swear last time, and we will get this movie. And I'm only stopping this one to address one of the, uh, a very common complaint that people had, specifically about Fortnite because they care a lot about that game. Where's all the players? There's only seven people. Must be nice to be in the top 10 before you even have to draw. Well, how lazy is YouTube? They couldn't get enough extras. Well, now you know why this scene has so little people. Not because YouTube was lazy or because they couldn't afford to get enough extras. No, it's because Thanos snapped and half of them disappeared. Okay, there was 14 people in there before. Okay, that's a full Fortnite game, probably. Get the bunk, taters. Sorry, I'm getting heated. Nope. Where were we? Wow, we're only 20 seconds into the... Okay, you know what? For real, we're gonna speed this up. Fast forward time. YouTube rewind, fast forward review time. Is this what you wanted? You know who I would've asked for? Quit horsing around! Okay, horsing around, really? A clear shout out to Red Dead Redemption 2, the release. Play me some of that jumping music. Okay, you said jumping music? Jumping music. Okay, he says, play me that jumping music, and then Cardi B comes on. Duh, right? Because when you jump out of the bus in Fortnite, that signifies the beginning of the fight. Just like one of the biggest events of the year, when Cardi B started a big fight with Nicki Minaj. See, it's so smart, you even gotta listen to the music. Okay, he just snuck that reference in there, he just ninja it. See, okay, I know when you first saw this and you thought, oh, how lazy, YouTube, another Fortnite reference, we just saw one. Wrong again! Okay, we got two more gamers here with a shopping cart. One's wearing black, the other one's wearing some military or camel outfit. They're obviously talking about Black Ops, okay, the biggest video game release of the year. They made over half a billion dollars at launch. That's a lot of people putting that game into their shopping carts, if you know what I mean. Next we got Liza Koshi, one of the biggest YouTubers and one of my favorites. And I don't know if you guys caught this or not. And this scene so obviously represents all the YouTubers that are calling each other out and taking shots at one another because YouTube really did take a big shot at Liza here. I mean, first of all, there's a scene that Liza just appeared out of nowhere, where a few years ago she did. She became one of the biggest things in a matter of what seems like months. And this is where they take the shot at Liza because when the video continues, they're trying to show what 2018 was like for Liza. They're commenting on her YouTube career. She just kept growing and growing and growing, going higher and higher numbers and all of a sudden, boom, she just stopped posting and disappeared into the sea. The Red Sea, to be exact. YouTube Red. See? So guys, apparently See? But just as you thought Liza was gone, she's back, okay? And she's consulting others on what do they want to do for Rewind. Why? Because she does not know the way. You see, YouTube did not forget the Ugandan Knuckles meme. I will say Knuckles meme from here on out because it is more PC, which is exactly what they wanted for this scene. Because, you know, people consider it racist once it became popular. And that's also why there's a campfire in this scene. No, it's not a Fortnite reference. Because with a campfire, you can't say, baby, it's cold outside anymore. Because campfires are warm. Knuck cold. Knuckles. Knuck, knuck cold. Knuck cold. Okay, that one was a stretch. One thing this video needs. K-pop! Okay, I'm not gonna do this entire K-pop scene, but I do want to point out this cart right here again. At first, you might thought, what is this random cart doing here? Or you probably didn't even notice it, but it's another statement by YouTube, just like the one we mentioned earlier about how many people this year have bought into K-pop. And specifically, BTS. Because BTS also stands for behind the scenes and the shopping cart is behind the entire scene. Okay, clever. Okay, the royal wedding and the bongo cat meme, okay? Feels like they're just kind of throwing two big things that happened this year at you. It's way smarter than that. Way smarter than that. YouTube's saying exactly that, but in a smarter way. All YouTube's doing is pointing out how stupid people look when they use memes in the wrong way. It's brilliant. Rewind needs more science. More Can we do science. an experiment? Love that. Melting lipstick. I'm just gonna get through this one real quick. What do they have to do with one another? What what trend are they referring to? Lipstick is something you put on your lips. Lips are used in kissing. When you kiss is usually because you're on a date or because you're in a relationship and you're gonna get married. When you get married, you could have kids. When you have kids, you gotta get bigger cars. You know, so you gotta sell your small car and now you have a big car with more space. Flip that around, you have a car in space. That's Elon Musk. They're talking about science. That's what it is. That's how it's all connected. Next. Okay, a dog being offered a cake and champagne, things that would normally be very bad for a dog and might even kill him. I mean, do I really have to say what trend this is? Eating something that might kill you? Marshmallow needs to be in this YouTube so smoothly transitioned this one. Marshmallow, you know, the DJ with that song Happier that, you know, had that viral music video of iCarly getting that dog and then the dog dies or disappears. Clearly talking about the whole disappearing dog magic trick thing that everybody did with the towel and the blankets. 
Even this one's deeper than it should be. See, why would they have the yodeling kid not actually yodeling his song like he did in Walmart? Instead, they have him ice skating. Because YouTube, once again, is trying to teach people that you can't use copyrighted material. They didn't get the rights to that song or Walmart. So that's why they had him doing something completely random because they're showing you how serious copyright laws have become on YouTube. You can't mess up. Not even a little bit, even though it makes so much more sense. Not even a little bit. Okay, and then there's like a long montage of just everybody dancing and it seems like nothing's happening. It gets a little boring and again, it's just another mind-blowing example that YouTube is giving us. They're literally telling you how to feed the algorithm to be successful on YouTube. That's how much they're giving you right here. It doesn't matter if nothing's really happening or not really evolving in the story of YouTube. You just extend the story longer, you get better ads, it feeds the algorithm, you get seen more and you make more money and that's what it's all about. And we're back at the PC campfire, where people take turns shouting out all the great things that people have done this year. And also kind of spreading their own individual thoughts and messages at the same time. And yes, I know there was a lot of people triggered by this section specifically, saying it was too preachy or like, why are they trying to force something on us? But then I thought about it, and <laughs> once again, YouTube just, just... See, what YouTube's really trying to say is that in 2018, whether it's YouTube Rewind, the news, a movie, an award show, any form of entertainment, it's not good unless you're trying to push some kind of agenda or message onto people. Because that is what people want to see, not what they tuned in for. And I'm, I'm sure you guys caught this one. This is obviously another big trend, not just talking about Kanye. Bunch of YouTubers in boxes. YouTubers boxing, come on. <laughs> I mean, re really? Look at... You don't know this one? Ligma. Okay, this whole forest section is a little bit dark. YouTube, you guys went a little dark. They're obviously referring to death, you know, because they're showing all these old dead dances. And as much as I don't want to bring it up, well, we all know what event they're referring to here, okay? I don't even have to say it. That's supposed to be like Wolverine. And we are at the last hidden message, the most important one. And this one's a little tougher to get, but bear with me because it's very important. The very last line of the video, Will Smith goes, Oh, that's hot. That's hot. And then it just ends. And I'm not gonna lie, even for myself, I was like, Oh, is that... Is that all? You know, like, oh, that's hot, that's hot. Like, what does that even mean? How can you end the video like that? When I figured this one out, I knew I had to make this video. I just had to. It will blow your freaking mind, YouTube. You guys nailed it. The way that you and I felt disappointed at the end of this video, the way we said, oh, is that all? That's exactly what YouTube wanted us to feel. That's exactly what they wanted us to say. Because they wanted to fit one last trend that perfectly represents everything we talked about in this video. Yanni vs. Laurel. I mean, this trend is the perfect thing to encapsulate everything we talked about and everything that this year has been. How in 2018, we can essentially be saying the same thing, but we'll still argue over it because the only thing we hear is what we want to hear. We don't hear what the other person hears or what they have to say. And YouTube goes and perfectly exemplifies this with the last line of the video, once again. Oh, that's hot. That's hot. You see, because although most people, including myself, were very disappointed by this ending, making us once again say, oh. Is that all? Really, YouTube is saying the exact same thing as us. Except that we didn't hear it from their point of view. YouTube's point of view. Re the rewind point of view. Oh, that's hot. How's that all? How's that all? How's that all? You see, there's a moral here. You might have thought that this year's rewind was bad or lazy, missing too many trends or too much Fortnite or whatever. And yes, it has become the most disliked video in the history of YouTube and you might still consider it to be absolute all around trash. But what better representation of 2018 and what better message is being spread than this video? See, the moral of this story is that in 2018, it's not about the story. It's not about effort or originality or creativity. N none of that anymore. Because when you got enough famous people uh, associated with trendy events, memes, and relatable moments, creating so much hype that you just can't quite live up to it, which in turn actually helps because it causes an outrage, leading to more anger and hate and drama that spreads to the point of becoming a trend itself, that is the recipe for success on YouTube in 2018. That is what people want to see. That is how you get 100 million views in less than a week despite the fact that everybody hates it. And that, my friends, is why despite all the dislikes, despite all the negative comments and reviews and everything that everybody's been saying, YouTube Rewind 2018 is absolutely brilliant. Because it's absolutely trash. Oh, this video is so getting taken down. <laughs>